Hello everyone, this is Raji. In this video, let us see how to find how to get top n records from group of tables. So let this is the data I have loaded. These are the tables that I have loaded. So let us first open the Power Query Editor. Click Transform Data option to open the Power Query Editor. So in Power this Power Query Editor, we have details like date, product category. Under product category, we have four product category names, and we have subcategory names, sales details, which is the main table, and product class. So, first let us merge this product category and subcategory name and from sales details based on sales ID let us find which product category has the top uh, sales. So, first step is merging this product subcategory name and product category name. So, go to merge merge as new, select merge as new. In the first you select product category name, in second let us select subcategory name. Select product category ID common in both these two tables. In join count select inner only matching rows then click OK. So if you click here on the blank space we will see the table listed. Now extract this table, select subcategory ID and subcategory name. Click OK. So now remove this product category ID. So we have product category ID and subcategory name. So, let me again extract this. Don't use use original column as prefix. Use subcategory ID and subcategory name. Click OK. Remove this column. And we have put a category name and subcategory name. Again, let us merge. Let me name this call table as categories. So, this is category table. Now, let us merge this category table and sub sales details table. Go to merge queries as new. Now, select here sales details. So, I have selected this subcategory to select in this both these two tables as common and go to join kind select inner join click ok so we have the details if we click here we will get the details now remove this subcategory id now go to add column transform group by let us group by product category name operation on all rows click ok so we have the table One second. So first from this sales details table let us extract the sales number. 
add column custom column name this as sales sales id let me write the formula as table dot select column open the bracket from sales details table I want sales number I want this table ok syntax is correct Now click OK. We got an error. Select columns from sales details table. I want sales number not number it is id so sales id click ok so this is the sales id now I want row count for this let us modify this formula only table dot row count close this bracket I want the row count click ok so ok now remove this table now let us group by under transform group by operation on all rows click ok so here if we click the table we have the details under this table now let us again add one more custom column to sort the table custom column Let us name this as sales table. Here let us write the formula table dot sort comma from this we want to sort sales ID. that too we want to sort in descending order comma order order dot descending yes close the curling bracket yes we are all good now click ok so we got the table so if we click here we will get the 
table details. Now let us add one more custom column to sort. First top first n values of this table. First n. Yes, first n. So this is our main name. So from sales table. Let us extract top three. Click OK. So let us extract this table. We no need product name. OK. So let us delete these two tables. Columns, these two columns. So we have product category name, subcategory and sales ID. So top three product category names are these walking shoes, basketball shoes and tennis shoes and their subcategory names are given in this table and their sales ID. Number of sales IDs are given in this column. So this is the result we want. So what we have done is we, ex we have extracted the top end records from the group of tables we have. So we have merged the columns according to our need and then we filtered the details we want. So this is the details we want. So we have filtered these details using this several icons is in Power Query Editor. So this is how you extract the top end records from a group of tables using Power Query Editor. So this is all about today's video. Thank you.